गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू योर सिक्स चैप्टर इन क्रोस सेक्शन वुमेन एजुकेशन कंपोज बाय डॉक्टर एस राधा कृष्णन स्पैन ऑफ लाइफ फिफ्थ सेप्टेम्बर एटीन एटी एट टू सेवेंटीन अप्रैल नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we go through the author's profile sarvapalli radhakrishnan was an indian philosopher and statesman he was the first vice president of india and the second president of india he was born in a telugu brahmin family in a village near tiruttani tamil nadu india his father's name was sarvapalli Birashwami and his mother was Sitam. <coughs> Notable works: The Philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore, nineteen eighteen; Indian Philosophy, nineteen twenty-three; The Hindu View of Life, nineteen twenty-six; An Idealist View of Life, nineteen twenty-nine. then we go through the synopsis of the lesson dr radha krishnan recommends the education should be broad and deep because an aimless education serves no purpose there are great opportunities for women in our time they can do social work take part in a public life and occupy administrative post and other services today the society needs women of disciplined minds and restrained manners according to the author the study of classics is very important they have many thrilling stories these stories instill into us great moral strength describing the importance of women he says that in ancient india women were entitled to study of the vedas they were also entitled to the chanting of gayatri jap they had the ceremony of upanayana performed for them he writes that self control charity and compassion are the three important qualities of a valuable life we repeat the synopsis again <clears throat> dr radha krishnan recommends that education should be broad and deep because an aimless education serves no purpose there are great opportunities for women in our time they can do social work the part in public life and occupy administrative posts and other services Today, the society needs women of disciplined minds and restrained manners. According to the author, the study of classics is very important. They have many thrilling stories. These stories instill into us a great moral strength. Describing the importance of women, he says that in ancient India, women were entitled to study of Vedas. They were also entitled to the chanting of the Gayatri Japa. They had the ceremony of Upanayana performed for them. he writes that self control charity and compassion are the three important qualities in a valuable life then you see on the screen your text some important lines you have found in your textbook in page number 60 and 61 in page number 60 you find that give us good women we will have a great civilization give us good women we will have a great civilization and give us good ma- mothers we will have a great nation what's the theory give us good women aap mujhe 
अच्छे वेमेन दीजिए स्त्री दीजिए तो मैं एक अच्छा सिविलाइजेशन बना सकता हूँ सिविलाइजेशन में सभ्यता एंड गिव अस गुड मदर्स अगर आप मुझे गुड मदर्स प्रोवाइड करें तो वी विल हैव ए ग्रेट नेशन हम एक खूब अच्छा नेशन बना सकते हैं राष्ट्र बना सकते हैं देन यू फाउंड ऑन द पेज नंबर सिक्सटी वन ऑफ योर फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक फोर लाइन्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पुरु कल्पेशी और नारी नाम मंदिरम वंदना निश्चिता अध्यापना वेदना गायत्री वंदनम तथा इन एंसेंट टाइम्स आवर वुमेन हैड द सेरेमनी ऑफ उपनयना परफॉर्म फॉर थीम दे वर एंटाइल्ड टू अ स्टडी ऑफ द पेदास दे वर ऑल्सो एंटाइटल टू द चैंटिंग ऑफ द गायत्री जपा ऑल दिस थिंग्स वेर ओपन टू आवर वुमेन बट आवर सिविलाइजेशन बिकेम एरेस्टेड एंड वन ऑफ द मेन साइंस ऑफ द दैट डिके ऑफ आवर सिविलाइजेशन इज द सब्जेक्शन ऑफ वुमेन After independence, through the exertion of Mahatma Gandhi, our revolution has been effected in our country, and women are coming into their own. Student, this is the main summary of the lesson. In our my next video, I teach you some questions and answers related to. this chapter thank you student